Bauhaus World Two Man Bobsled Championships from Koenigsegg, Germany. They race for the Max Huben Trophy since 1950. They've been racing for this two man trophy for the sport of two man bobsledding. And our fourth place athlete after three runs, Biad Hefty, Thomas Lamparter. They had a terrible third run, saw him slip from second to fourth. He needed to post a great time to have a chance, and he posts a track record. Hefty and Lampard have hope that they can still squeeze in to a podium finish. Manuel Mahata, Andreas Perdue, this World Cup rookie team with a big German crowd at the bottom. They lose a little bit of time back to Hefty, but they narrowly edge out Hefty by 10 hundreds. Hefty walks away frustrated. The German coaches celebrate a great moment for this young 26-year-old German, Manuel Mahata. He's guaranteed at least a bronze medal. Now Florschutz and Kuska of Germany, they come down. They have an 800s lead over their teammates. But on the bottom part of the track, Florschutz has problems. And his 1100s lead slips away down a three. And at the finish line, dead heat. Both teams will get silver medals for Germany. The crowd is going crazy. Florschutz did not like his run but he does realize he won a silver medal at least. Now there's one more sled to go. Alexander Zuka, Alexei Vavoda, Russia. The Russians had never won a world championship gold medal in any of the sliding sports of Bob Soder Skeleton. The veteran 35-year-old Russian pilot has a lot of time in the bank and the finish, he posts only the fifth best time of the heat, but he wins the four heat competition. The Russians' historic first ever gold medal in the sport of bobsledder skeleton. Zubkov gets acknowledged by the German crowd for his great achievement. Our final standings Zubkov, Florschutz, and Mahata tie for the silver. Look at Estrada for Romania. He finishes in eighth place, their best finish for that country in a long time. But today, it's Alexander Zubkov and Alexei Vavoda. They raise the Huben Trophy, they're the world champs.